First, let's launch Skyglass. I'm going to point the camera at the floor so it can get its position in space. And you can move your marker wherever you need to. This is good right here, just in front of the green screen, and hit Done. Now you can see it's on our loading screen, so it's going to start to load that virtual background into position. All right, there we go, it's popped in. Now you can see as I move the phone around that our subject is staying perfectly in position, tacked down to the floor inside of this virtual environment. And everything is parallaxing and moving with her as it should. So you can see I can move past her and around. Now let's talk about the keying. So if you need to adjust your key, you can tap on this little eyedropper and actually select the background. So if you're not using a green screen, you can tap on whatever screen you're using, whether it's a blue screen or green screen. So I'll tap here. And then we can go into here to actually adjust the threshold. So if you don't like the way that it's keying, you can actually slide this along and have it key out less or key out more. So you wanna find just the right spot. And I like it right about here. Now these two markers on the top allow you to adjust the edge softness. So the closer together, the harder the edges are and the further apart, the softer. I like to have mine right about here so that I don't get really harsh edges. Now this button is our D spill. So right now it is on. If I turn it off, you can see some green coming back into her hair, which we don't want. So we'll tap that off and now she's looking much better. If you need to change the marker position of your virtual environment, you can tap and do that here. You can actually rotate it with two fingers, whatever you need to do, mine is good here, so I'm just gonna hit done. Now, if you want to change where your subject is inside of the virtual environment, you can go into the game controller mode. I'm not gonna do that now since I'm filming this all vertically. All right, if you don't have a green screen, you can actually use our pre-screen feature. And this is just in beta, but you can tap it here. And now you can see the entire room has turned into a virtual environment without the need for a green screen. Now this is just in beta, so the mat is not perfect. You can see a little bit of the edges around her hair and that sort of thing, because it's using AI to cut her out. Now this is perfect for getting a quick idea of what your subject might look like inside of the environment and that sort of thing, but you don't want to use this for your final product. You really want to be using a green screen or blue screen for best results. All right, so I'm going to tap and turn that off. Now let's take a look at some of the new manual camera controls. So you can tap on the camera icon, and then tap here, and this has your focus lock, so it won't change on you. And then you can tap on these lines, and you can actually adjust the focus to be exactly where you want it to be. I find the autofocus is pretty good, so I'm actually just gonna turn autofocus back on. Now, if you tap on this light bulb, you can get into white balance control. So right now, auto white balance just turned on. But I actually don't wanna use that because I know what white balance this room is set to with my lighting. So I'm gonna tap these three dots, and then I'm gonna tap here and you can change the white balance to whatever temperature you need. Anywhere from 2,500 Kelvin all the way up to 10,000 Kelvin. So depending on the lighting of your room, of course this may adjust the look of the green screen behind. So make sure that you set it to the right color temperature if you're gonna do it manually. I'm gonna set mine to about 5,500 Kelvin to match my lighting. Now, if you need to adjust the tint, you can go in here and you can add plus 50 magenta or negative 50 green. So this will better help you match your subject to the background. The next adjustment we have here is auto exposure. So you can tap that, auto exposure turns on, or you can tap it again and then tap the three dots and you can actually change the exposure yourself. So you can go in here and change how long it's actually exposing for. You can tap back out and you can also adjust the ISO which is your digital brightening of the scene. So you have all those full controls if you want them. I actually really like auto exposure, so I'm gonna leave that on for right now. The final adjustment you can make is a color adjustment. So you can tap here and this will do the default color filter, but I actually like to adjust this manually. So tap back on it and go into custom, tap these lines, and then you can change the black points. So if you want your subject to match the background better so that the contrast looks much more similar, and go ahead and slide this along. So what I'm gonna do is crush this a little bit so the shadows match more closely with the contrast of the background. And then I'll tap back out to go back to our main screen. So now we are all set up to film. Obviously I went through all the different settings. You don't really have to do that when it's time to film. Now it's easy to start recording. Just hit record 
and film your entire scene. Once you're done recording, just of course hit the record button to stop, and then you can tap here to go into the library and review your footage. Now, if you don't like the background that you're in, it's really easy to change. Just tap on the library and then you can switch between a few of the different backgrounds that we have loaded in. So let's go to this snowy winter scene. And boom, there we go. It's fully loaded up. You can see here in the new environment here. Now let's say we want to match our subject to this background that's looking pretty cool and blue. We can go back into our manual white balance controls and I'm actually going to cool this down just a tad so it looks a little bit more like she's there and I'll tap out of it. So already that's looking a lot better. So you can see with all these new manual color controls, you can really get your subject matching the backgrounds much better and you just have so much more control over the camera. And of course the tracking is absolutely incredible. The virtual backgrounds look beautiful. So we can't wait to see what you guys make with Skyglass.